Hey folks, this is IOE Thor, and we're back with some more World Tanks. So as you can see, this is Deadly Smurf in his T28 prototype. And this is a tier 8 game on Westfield. This is a standard game, and he is in the tier 8 American turreted tank for the T28 prototype. So, um, before we get too far into this, a of course there's as always if you want to support the channel, the best way to do so is to pull more people in, the more people we get in the bigger the channel grows and the more variety we get. In addition to that, there's a special announcement today. Uh, Deadly Smurf has made a montage of World Tanks. And I featured yours truly in at least one part of it, but it's, well, it's, it's well put together and I figure it deserves some credit, so I'm giving it a shout out. I'm also gonna drop the link in the description below. Please click on it. Um, even if you don't want to watch it all the way through and get that or whatever if you're interested at all then go ahead and click on that and uh, yes look at that he doesn't have 19 he shields with it anymore and yes he did that once upon a time twice actually for a period of, of like um two or three months there he still had 19 he shields as he joined a prototype but this is a much newer game oh i forgot to mention he has teamed up with Who's he teamed up with? He's teamed up with. Uh, and again, dude, cool. I figured out his name. Uh huh. And, um. There we go. So, T34 is dead. And he is apparently typing. Or otherwise, a fight. And she can push for it. And he doesn't want to push over this ridge line completely. Because of the fact that there is enemy tanksters on the other side. But he does look like he wants to chew hard the E4s. He's the penetration if he fires at the lower plates um, or weak spots, he can go straight through. Um, there is space armor on the front of the E4 as always. But again, he's not so much with the carrying. I don't know, my bad. His penetration is good enough that he can go straight through the front of that thing. Anyway, he might not be able to go through straight through the spaced armor on the turret, but he doesn't have to. He doesn't have to shoot at it anyway, so it doesn't really matter. Um, FCM was trying to get a cheeky shot in on us, and all it did was get him up and expose over the original end, and so of course, he got himself taken out, and that shot went into our drive wheel, I believe. Somewhere back there, and just blew our track off. Unfortunately though, the team seems to be losing up here, mostly due to the fact that the enemy haven't sent anyone over there. So, uh, the slower our, our mediums are at reacting to this, the longer it's going to take before we get reinforcements, and the more likely the enemy team is to kill us all before that happens. The upside to this is though that we have them more or less cocooned um, and trapped, and we're going to just beat on them from all sides and all angles without them necessarily being able to point guns at all of us at the same time. Um, and so unfortunately Anakin goes down and we're in a really tricky position with a sorry. I'm throwing in the morning trying to get this done and recorded so I can go play with my daughter. Um and so there's a cavern on one side of us, so if you push the top of the then we cannot be in an exposed or compromised position. At the same time, there's these two guys over here, and they have some backup, and these guys really are deadly if we have to get over this ridge line. The upside is T-34 does not have the gun depression to shoot us over that ridge line, so we don't need to worry about that so much. The E-4, though, can definitely do it. Now, the fort goes ahead and takes it, or Panther, to Ally, who was a bit too far for it anyway. The Emil is trying to get shots off. Ugh, but the Emil is in one shot, so he doesn't want to go too hard, or he's just going to die for no reason. Gotta track him. Nope, not able to put the tracking shot in. Ice 3 is going to miss. Oh, he's going in for the ram. No, it doesn't get the ram off, and it allows us to put another free shell into it. We should be able to get one free, one more free shell before it the guy gets. I uh, throw off. No, apparently the free go shell goes into C34-3, who missed the ram, or wasn't thinking about it. I don't know which. Doesn't really matter either way. It gets him killed, and now we have 
only the one opponent left over here is just the IS-3 who's suddenly terrified and uh, suddenly wishing he was someplace else as he tries the side scrape of the dead Jag Panther. Uh, and Mio just goes in for the kill, gets around behind him, and uh, lets us finish off the kill. Good job from the Emil, good play. Uh, even if he hadn't gone around the gun, even if he just died, it would have allowed Deadly to push around and kill the IS-3. Or at least do a ton of damage to him, and even have to fight for later on. Now there's still an ISU around here somewhere, we do not want to walk into that trap. Because an ISU can definitely take us out in a single shell. Uh, and he can splash our ally to death very easily. Now it turns out he's on most of his health, so the Emil's got to be careful here. He's got... If he's reloaded like he should have, he should have four, con four shells in the container. But if he hasn't reloaded for some silly reason, then he will be... Well, it doesn't matter. He got himself shot because uh, 152 had HG loaded or just didn't care and shot him either way. He's uh, down for the count and there's only two enemies left. Uh, he's going to try and push down towards them. He wants to get up on this bridge line so he can see down into the valley and see what's going on. Um, but there is a Scorpion G that would be behind him up there probably. Most likely it's down there. If it's smart, it's down here. If it's even smarter, it's down behind here. Um, we'll see where it ends up. I'm sorry, I just I, I punched the mic um, support. I uh, It's the first time in a while that I've been recording with this here, so I just keep forgetting that there's mic support right here. Right down there. There's, there's a bar right there. So it looks like the Scorpion G has actually fled all the way to the back of the map. Unfortunately, not able to get that kill. Wait, seriously? Oh, okay, there we go. I was going to say, there's no way all of our allies let that kill go on that long without taking it. But they didn't. That was, that was a great game. Thank you so much, Deadly, for saying that in. Master Badge, Ace Tanker, Fire for Effect, and the Top Gun. Well played, sir. So remember that montage will be linked in the description below. 4,000 damage. Top on his team, Emil gets props for the second place. And then everyone else, yeah, you, some of you did your jobs and most of you didn't. 17 shot fire, 14 penetrations for this beautiful total. And well played, good sir. Anytime a T28 or a T95 has to move that far, then the game was active and vicious. Thank you so much for, for saying this in, Deadly. Thank you all for watching. Please do support the channel by pulling your friends in. The more people we can get to subscribe, the better. And of course, check out Deadly's montage. I'll see you all later this IOE throughout.